Hey guys, it's Nathan from Bedroom Producer again and today we're going to dive back into Kaigo's past. It's not a secret that Kaigo has been hugely influenced by Avicii and in fact he was actually the reason Kaigo started producing music and writing his own melodies. Avicii was my biggest musical inspiration and he was the reason why I started making electronic music. But what many people don't know is that before Kaigo started getting attention with his new Deep House and Tropical House sound on SoundCloud, he was actually producing music that was very similar to Avicii's music at that time. Here's a screenshot of Kaigo's YouTube channel in 2014, where you can see that he uploaded three remixes that if you aren't a diehard Kaigo fan, you probably haven't heard before. Shortly after his Tropical House sound started getting more and more attention, he deleted those songs from SoundCloud and YouTube because they were way too different to his new sound. But you can still find those songs uploaded by other YouTube and SoundCloud channels. His song Epsilon is the only one he didn't take down. I'll link you a playlist in the description where you can find all of Kaigo's songs from that era. It's really interesting to see how his sound has changed and developed over the years. And with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys today how to make this kind of music. Usually those kind of songs are remixes, so we're going to pick a nice a cappella to work with. and set the BPM to 126 for a good dance tempo. The first element is the drop pianos. I laid those four presets here together from Nexus. The last one is only used in the drop to give it a bit more impact. The rhythm used here is pretty common for progressive house and works great especially when it's sidechained. The next element is the lead. I laid six dance leads together from Nexus to give it that Avicii sound. as well as three plug layers to make it sound a bit more Kaigo. And all together they sound like this. Then in the drop we also have the classic Kaigo bass, but I processed it to make it more suitable for a dance song. As well as a sub bass that is just playing the bass notes. In the second half of the drop, we have the plug that you may have already heard in Kaigo's Dancer remix. To recreate it, I layered this preset here from Nexus together with this art from Silent to enhance the attack a bit more. I also added some delay on the Nexus preset. For the drums, we have a kick drum I made out of a few kicks, a short hi hat on top to make the kick stick out a bit more in the mix, as well as some acoustic offbeat hi hats, some pan shakers, and a bit of white noise used as a percussion and a clap. For FX I added a crash with a fourth ping pong delay, a down sweep, Kaigo's old favorite sub drop sample and three explosion sound. To make the build up more epic like Avicii, I added a low pass filter plus some reverb on the lead and on the drop pianos that gets automated throughout the build up. And that's pretty much it. Now let's listen to everything together. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today and had a good time. If so, leave a like and check out my other Kaigo tutorials and remakes. You can find all the links in the video description. If you want to download the FLP yourself and check out how everything was mixed and processed, you can do so as soon as we hit 300 likes on this video. So thanks for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.